Right, I've just climbed up from Holford, up through that long coombe there, which we always called Holford Glen. I know it's got another name as well. And look how beautiful it is. Different time of the year, you know, you've got different colours out here. You've got the heathers, the gorse, all asleep at the moment. And of course out there you've got what's talked about all over the world at the moment is um, Hinkley Point. Which they've just, they've been given the go ahead for it. There's West, is that Western over there or Burnham? That could be Western right over there. Where's Western? Yeah, I've got a feeling that's Western right over there where I live. Oh, that could be, that could be brain down. No, I know it's not, I can see the houses. It's Western. Dips over there where I go a lot up there. I spend a lot of time up there. I spend a lot more time up here if I lived a little bit closer because it is well I've loved it since since ever I can remember. I always liked the countryside and I always loved the Quantox. Always. If I could have lived out here when I was a child, I always wanted to. I wanted to live out here, I remember, but it did used to be a bit scary when us kids used to come out here. I remember that, the trees that used to, well they were telling us off, you, know, you shouldn't be out here without your grown ups. They were, they were protecting us, even then by scaring us. Lots of old tracks. They have to let them re return to the wild every now and again because of the, well, wear and tear with the bikers and everything. So there we go, folks. Here it is. This is what I love. This is what my family love. You know, Valerie, Margaret, Barbara probably at one point. And, um... And Jude and Stuart. And because my children, Georgia, Georgia loves it up here. She only had not think it's explored much yet. Nor Duncan even really in, into it at the moment, I don't think. Uh, I've brought them. Um, they have been up certain parts of the Quantops, but I brought the girls down in the Glen anyway. <sighs> right, over and out for a minute, I'll take some pictures. Right, there's some um, Holford down that way. I just, I've just done a little circular there, just so I could get some pictures high up. But I'm actually going to join this little path down here. Because I think this is where somebody was sat a minute ago. Because I looked up, I could see somebody sat. I thought they were sat on um, a chair or something. So they've gone now, but one had a pink jumper on. It might still be there, they might just be over the ridge there. But I just want to go down a little bit just to take a picture up um, of that scene there of, of Holford. Like I said, it's, it would be quite difficult to, to negotiate all this when the ferns are here because you won't know where the snakes are um, and all that sort of thing. Um, so sometimes it's good to come out and do these early videoings. There's a big hill over there I want to do. I think I might have done it but I can't remember when I came from Nether Stowey once. I might have been very close to that hill. I, that's one of the ones I want to do. But whoever I seen her um, not long ago, they could have been sat on this bank. And uh, of course, I was walking along a path there. I came up through a wood over there, but I could see them quite clearly. And they could have been—they could have been sat on this bank like this. And 
and uh, because the, the sheep keep it all cropped nicely like this, you know. Yeah, they should be able to look down into a, into the valley again from up here in a minute. Like I said, I walked down there, I walked up there a minute ago and up round. I deliberately went a little bit higher just for a few moments. And I'm, I'm sort of ducking and delving. I'm just trying to get as much imagery of um, Holford as I can. gorgeous isn't it you can see but it's only a little bit of land but I tell you what that means so much that little tiny bit of land there is like gold that is gold that is it's so special and there's so many species that live there you know plants flora fauna um, it's just magical. It's the most magical part of, of, to me, the whole of this up here. This is total beauty. And for ages, I used to call it my little Eden because it was so it's so special. Um, I'd have to find out from my older sisters whether my mum did ever get out here. I mean, she might have done in the wartime. I'd like to think my mum had been out here. Um, whether she'd come out here with my dad or anything like that, you know, it was something. You know, he would. He knew, he obviously had been out here. He knew it really well. He'd been out here. Uh, this is where somebody was sat. I reckon they were sat on that bank there. Just to get a view of, of where I was a minute ago, right down there. Look how peaceful it is here now. So peaceful, so quiet. I've had a few tears today, I must admit. Although I love this place, it's breaking me at the moment. Uh, because um, of my dude. Yeah, there we go, look. They would have been sat up, up there on the bank. And I spotted them from down there when I was walking down there. I would have been on a pathway going through that wood there. There's it, there it is, there's a path there, look. There's a little... Oh, there's a person now. A couple of people. They're doing it. Yeah, it's a lovely walk. It really is beautiful, that walk. Either way round, you can do it the other way. Next time I'll do it the opposite direction. I just love this place. Love it. I ought to have my ashes. I ought to really have my ashes here, but I'm not sure yet. So I like Glastonbury as well. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, I'm up not far from a bit canola pole now, in a minute. Just had to put the battery charger on. These lovely old trees. There's a few people out walking now. Mainly couples, but no, and, or pe blokes on their own with, or people on their own with dogs. Over there we've got Minehead. Minehead by the seaside. And the Butlins area. Never really explored much over that way. I'm going I intend to though. After I've done Nor Norfolk and Lincolnshire, I intend to come over here and camp over over this way. And um, explore more. I'm gonna use my own, I'm gonna camp it over here. That's the plan. Now we're 
uh, heading over this way. There's been quite a few people passing on this particular stretch. It's like um, a meeting place, isn't it? I've never known it this green like this, though. It's, it's normally wild, I'm sure of it. It's like they've had a bloody lawnmower up here. But I know they've got the horses as well now. I came from that way a minute ago after I'd climbed up. I mean, it would be nice to go back down into Holford. I know that. I know it would. I'm half tempted to. At the same time, I feel like doing a, going up a bit higher. It's not really much further. It's just a, a wider circle. Because uh, the thing is, I'll be back to the van in no time. If I go down there now, there's a track that takes you down, right? If I go back down there in a minute, down that way, I will um, be back to the van in half an hour. Can't see no deer, but there's plenty of... Now these do, some of these do look like ponies actually, these look, but I have seen last year, I've seen horses, and there's some sheep, hi sheepies, hello, alright, you're busy, you look very well in that big furry coat, you're going to need it for a bit longer, it's cold weather coming, now I'm going to go, um, along the top up there and back to my old fox and house I've decided because I'm going to be over here quite a lot I think I need to come over here and be with my sister walking about um, I've got to know I've got various places that I do want to explore around here see um, I'm just beginning to have time to do all this it does take time and it's all so beautiful as well it is all so beautiful I mean yeah I was just doing a bit of video I've explored most of up around this way there is one track I haven't done but I'm not doing it today I don't know if it's called Green Lane or something but there's something I want to do but I'm not doing that today today is really coming out to love this place and remember my sister Jude who loved this place and I think she's having her ashes scattered up here by her husband and family. I don't know exactly where. Over and out for a minute. 